Hello everybody! Welcome. It's the start of a week for us. Well, technically it's Tuesday afternoon um, for us. But, since we were out of town, I thought I'd do a video here. Um, and this is going to be um, part of Sunday's sold, Monday, and part of Tuesday. All kind of condensed down into one. I'm not going to go over everything with you. I'm just going to kind of give you the highlights. And um, that's how we're going to start our week. All right, so today is Tuesday, October 26th, um, and we had pretty decent sales uh, while we were out of town. We actually had sales on two marketplaces, Facebook Marketplace and eBay. Starting with Facebook, it's this. Um, this is a uh, cycling jacket, men's, uh, well, I'm sorry, unisex 2.0 cycling jacket performance bicycle ultra is the brand um 64 dollars plus shipping it's a little squishmallow on ebay we're back we're on ebay now i always forget to transition sometimes so uh moving on to ebay we sold this it's a squishmallow um it's a kelly toy squishmallow v ivory cream gold owl i guess the name is v the ivory cream gold owl with multicolored ears Oh, twenty seven fifty plus shipping for that one. So keep an eye out for V. She's worth some money. So the doll. This is a vanti an in vanti whew, vintage antique ideal plastic baby doll from the nineteen fifties. She's also interested in what's over there. Um, anyway, she's got like kind of a quilted outfit on. She is hard plastic. Uh, twenty five dollars. Pleasure. Sold some of those records that we got at that auction. Uh, we sold this one. Um, this is the one that we had no idea. The Dokken uh, Under Lock and Key album. It is not sealed. It's been opened. Um, $18 for this one. Plus shipping. So somebody wants that. <laughs> I did, never heard of them. Um, you saw that uh, Monday's video when Sarah tested this out for us. This <laughs> is Snake Mountain. Skeletor's Castle Snake Mountain. It is missing a piece right here, uh, but it is functional. Uh, $36 for Snake Mountain plus shipping. Now, this and all the Wiz Kids that we got were $17. So this is already paid plus for that whole lot. So, and we have sold some Wiz Kids here and there. Um, but yeah, so we're pure profit for this deal already. Sold some pretty cool postcards while we were away. Um, I'll find the one I'm looking for here. There it is. Um, this is Sand Key Lighthouse um, in Key West, Florida. It is right there. Looks like an oil rig to me. Um, not a split back postcard. This is just a solid back postcard. Um, posted in 1907 in Ohio. $10 for this guy. Plus shipping. So some more pictures. This is a man and an older woman. Cabinet card. They don't look very happy. <laughs> mustache glasses from Brooksfield, Missouri. $15. Please ship it. So this. This came from the uh, Epic Estate Sale Part 2. This, <laughs> it's it's really not... I mean, I, I wouldn't call this a bolo or anything like that. In fact, it's probably not going to make us all that much money, but it is hysterical. This is a deluxe exercise suit. Vinyl exercise suit is what this is. That's... <laughs> That does not breathe well. Uh, $16.50 free shipping. So not a big money maker, but I thought you guys would enjoy. Sold some shoes. These are Reebok One Breeze shoes. Um, they're running shoes. They look like they've never been worn. Um, you can kind of see from the bottom. They're pretty much brand new. In fact, the tags are still on the soles in here. So they are brand new. $25. Push. This is an interesting one. This is a... So, uh, the nobody's nobody but me human beings right here it's um and it was recorded here uh gateway recordings incorporated in pittsburgh so this is probably a one-off um record don't know who it is we just saw that it was sealed um decided to take a chance on it it has never been opened um 22 dollars plus shipping the moral of the story there is is most seal records sell for lots of or pretty decent money Next up, this. Um, this is First Quest, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Introduction to 
role-playing games, is what it says at the top. Um, this is an audio CD game featuring game books, maps, miniatures, screen cards, dice, and so forth. Um, it's missing the dice. I mean, it seems like everybody kind of steals the dice out of these things. Um, 40 bucks though, plus shipping. I do want to show you one of these um, just to get so you guys can get an idea of the value on these Wiz Kids because I did realize in that video I kind of, you know, uh, kind of mauled over that. Here's a a lot of them, and these are kind of all like army men type things. Um, nothing too crazy. They're just like army guys. Um, anyways, they're cosmetic ju uh, Justice Five Easy Company soldiers. One medic and, a, and Sergeant Rock. Um, all these together, eight dollars plus shipping. So, again, we paid seventeen dollars for the uh, the He-Man castle and all the all these. Um, so they're gonna make you know we're gonna we're already in the profit. So, but it is a it's kind of a long ball game. You know, you're you're selling them off in lots and making five to seven dollars per, and that's that's what we were going for. So eight dollars plus shipping for the Whiz Kids. Sold another one of those records from the auction. This is the Scorpions record. Um, love at first sting. Thirteen dollars. Plus shipping. And just because you guys find it so funny whenever I do this, we'll wrap it up wrap up today with this. I think there's one more. I legitimately think there's only one more of these left. This is February 1990. Schwarzenegger lookalike. Yeah, I guess kind of looks like Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger's bigger, without a doubt, but whatever. Um, this is Mark Hampton, I guess. $7 for Playgirl. Plus shipping. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Today's Wednesday, uh, October 27th. Mm. October's gone. It's just flew by, which is a good thing and a bad thing. November, typically a good month. Uh, people start their Christmas shopping. Things start to get a little crazy on the uh, online purchasing world. So, um... We uh, had a decent day today. Uh, not too bad. Some big ticket items went today, uh, and then we had some bulk deals. So, we like those. Uh, starting off with these things here. Uh, I'm not going to take them out of the bag because uh, there's a lot of little pieces to them, and I just don't really want to make a mess. But these are um, whiz kits. They're Shadow Run Duels Wiz, Wiz Kids. So they're like the other little Wiz Kids that we got, um, sort of, but they're bigger. So, like, if you guys watched the video, you probably saw that. <laughs> this isn't going to work. You probably saw that guy with these, like, big base. You know what? <laughs> we'll just take one out and show it to you guys. Um, so there's, like, a figure. Comes with a figure. And then some accessories, like this crazy hat thing. And then it comes with this base right here. And inside the base is like all the other accessories. There's like tiny little dice in there and like some other things. And I'm never going to get this lid back on because everything in there just went to the edge. And now the lid's not going to go back on. So if you see a cut here, that's because I'm messing around with it. Yep, look at that. Went back on. Um, anyways, so yeah, that's what these are. Um, they're a game, and I'm not 100% certain exactly whether this is the same game as those tiny little figures we got or like a bigger version of it or something. I have no idea. All I know is this guy reached out and said, hey, if I buy all three of them, will you combine shipping? And I said, absolutely. So there's this one, this one, and then Matt, remember that really, really big guy that came? There's that one. Um, all three of them together. Again, these aren't, you know, retirement money items, but they are good. I mean, we paid like $17 for that and the the Purple Castle, uh, Snake Mountain. Uh, these all sold for $38. Plus shipping. A little record from Monday's video, or sorry, Tuesday's video. Um, Def Leppard. This is Def Leppard. Pyromania. Uh, it's on Pyromania. Anything I know? Photograph right there is on it, so... That's a pretty popular one, $14 plus shipping. Big money today came in the form of musical instruments. Here it is right here. Um, this is a Yamaha v uh, VSS30 Portasound Digital Voice uh, keyboard. It also does voice sampling, which is kind of fun. Um, you can actually record your voice and play 
different notes of your voice. Sarah was having a lot of fun with that. This would have been worth 300 plus um, if this key didn't come off. <laughs> We were we were very happy with the fact that we bought this and it, it's fine. It does go back on there with no issue um, And it does stay on there, you know when you press it So it's not totally broken um, But it certainly would have been worth a lot more had that not been the case, but this is it um, It's it's just still sold for great money even for parts. These are worth great money $115 plus shipping sold some more cabinet cards. This is gentlemen with glasses and mustache Suit and tie as well. That's right. This looks like uh, White Earp or something, um, but it's not. It's uh, Carrie Samuel. There's Carrie. Uh, anyways, ten dollars for Carrie. Plus shipping. So this. This is a Carlton Cards um, ornament. It says Hershey chocolate sweet surprises. How precious. Uh, ten dollars. Plus shipping. I can always tell when it's getting to be that time of year. Some Christmas lights. These are uh, C9 and a half Christmas lights. Total 14 bobs. Tested and working. $20. For that shipping. I'm going to bring this up because I didn't know if these would ever sell. So if you look way back on my channel to when I first started, um, we bought a whole bunch of ink tags. And you guys have seen those over the years if you're loyal watchers but if you're not i bought a bunch of ink tags like those uh tags that they put on clothing that if you break them the ink explodes anyways during that period of time um the video actually prior to that was us going to this close uh closing department store and we bought a whole bunch of stuff really really cheap one of which is this um we bought them for like three dollars too um and we have one more is it one more or two more we have one more of these and then another one like this. Um, and I thought people would like these, but I was very wrong. Because <laughs> they've been with us for almost a year. Um, and one finally sold. $10. Free shipping. Um, so if anybody wants a looking sharp mug, we have them. This is one of those things where I think that if Crate and Barrel puts their name on it, it's worth money. Because this, to me, isn't worth money. These are like... Uh, um, salad hand tongs, you know, but they're just wood. They're wood salad hand tongs, but they say crate and barrel on the back of them. Ten dollars plus shipping. So this this is a uh, Brittany black Brittany black size large, gray diagonal poncho shirt. I uh, found it at the bins. Ten bucks plus shipping. One of my favorite things that happens on eBay is when people reach out to us and they're like, hey, you got a whole bunch of one thing that I really want. Can I buy a bunch of them? And we're like, sure. It's always my favorite. Anyways, we had somebody buy a whole bunch of Christmas ornaments. Um, average cost was about uh, 7 or $8 per. I'll just show them all to you here. This is a Campbell's soup ornament right there. And then we have... General Mills tricks cereal and cereal ornament. And then we have clauses on vacation. Precious. Um, and then we have some Jello ones. I didn't even know Jello put out ornaments, but apparently they do. Oh my god. They bought two of the exact same ornaments there. We have this big one. This is Carlton Cards, another Campbell Soup ornament. There we go. Uh, those are, that's the whole thing. Let me get this out of my way. Uh, and I'll tell you how much they paid for them. $45 plus ship. Next up, another name that if you attach their name to it, it becomes worth a ton of money. Um, this is a pumpkin by William Sonoma. It has a lid on it. It goes like this. Um, it's a candy dish, pumpkin candy dish, $20 plus shipping. Sold some pants. These are um, Express Men's Pants, uh, Chino Pants. They're blue pants. Um, slim Fit, size 32, 34. Um, they are new with the tags. There's the tag right there. Um, $18. Plus shipping. And last, second to last for today, is this. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> we sold it. Little Caesars Pizza Delivery Driver sign. That go with the bracket. It goes right in your door there on the window. I can't believe we sold it. Um, anyways, uh, it sold for 90 bucks plus shipping. And I probably could have gotten a little bit more out of it. Um, when me and Sarah talked about what she was listing it for, what we were going to list it for, I had thought we were listing it for right around 100 bucks. And then when that offer came in, I just accepted it. And I was like, whoops, we put it on for 140 So that person got quite the discount. But um, I had averaged it, figured we'd get about 100 bucks for it. So not too mad at myself, a little bit. A little mad at myself, but not, you know, not kicking myself too much. We paid fifteen dollars for the thing, so really not a big deal. But yeah, hundred bucks. Uh, so pretty awesome. Gonna be a little bit of a problem to ship, I'm sure. Last for today, more Christmas. Here it is. This is Christmas in the making by Pillsbury. Um, or I'm sorry, gold medal, gold medal flower. Um, yeah, 10 bucks plus shipping. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Today's Thursday, October 28th. And uh, today is the first day that felt Q4-ish to me. Um, and normally, that's that's normal. October, the end of October is normally a little slow on the weekends, especially getting closer to Halloween. People have Halloween parties, people are doing things, and then Halloween itself, typically that day is not very busy. So then we've got... Um, then we've got, you know, November. And once November hits, that's when people start getting real serious about Christmas shopping. So we're hoping that days going forward are going to be just like this one. Anyways, um, we sold quite a few things. I'm going to highlight the ones that are worth talking about. And then there's a few in here that just aren't. So um, starting with this, this is a vintage cabinet card of a cute girl. It says cute girl on the description. She's a little creepy to me, but I'm just throwing that out there and I think it's this look to the photos that make it look creepy but um yeah girl in a floral hat dressed um Heaton Studios in let's say where it is eight dollars plus shipping speaking of cute this girl sold this is a vintage 1980s cabbage patch blonde hair blue eyes um with pigtails dress and dimples there she is there she sold for nineteen dollars and 50 cents plus shipping so sweet in here my teeth are hurting it's another one <laughs> this is 2004 play along cabbage patch doll um red hair purple outfit we don't normally buy the uh newer ones unless they've got something unique and again she's got this kind of crimped hair look um she sold for 22 dollars and 50 cents plus shipping our first bulk deal of the day um, was a whole mass of records. None of them too earth-shattering, um, but someone did just come through and buy, <laughs> buy a ton of them. Um, so I'm just going to run through them all for you. You saw this from uh, the uh, auction video, uh, let's see, Wednesday's video, the special Wednesday's video. This is Fat Mattress. Uh, apparently they were like a psychedelic rock group. We've got the Doobie Brothers right here. Got some Bowie. That's a good collection. We got Boss Skaggs right there. We got Seals and Croft. We've got the Doobie Brothers. We've got the Who. And Sticks right there. Um, again, none of these super shattering, but they certainly. Um, one of them, $43.44 for all of these. Plus, uh, the person that bought the records also bought a few other things. They bought this Air Jordan shirt, and then these Lucky brand uh, charms. They're charms by Lucky. Right here. They come in this decorative little box that's not focusing at the moment. There we go. Uh, for both of those, $22 plus shipping. And of course, we're going to be combining shipping for this person. Um, probably um, two separate packages. For those of you that don't know, a lot of the times um, when someone buys a bunch of things that can go media mail and a bunch of things that can't, it's cheaper to ship all the stuff media mail and then ship the stuff that 
can't be shipped media mail separately. That's what we're going to do. Um, <clears throat> sold this. This is a lot of 15 vintage ticket stubs. Um, some of them are from Forbes Field, which is our old ballpark in Pittsburgh. Um, and a few of them are like dance tickets. Um, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Athletic Company. That's Forbes Field. Uh, we've got Ladies Day ticket. So just a bunch of old ticket stubs. Uh, 20 bucks plus shipping. This came from that uh, scrapbook you got. You saw us. Uh, you saw us uh, buy. Sold a set of a lot of three uh, Minnie and Mickey Mouse uh, coloring books. These are old vintage coloring books. This is Bugs Bunny. And then there's Minnie and Mickey Mouse right there. Um, never been used. Uh, $10. Plus shipping. It's our best one to date coming up. It's right here. This is a real photo postcard. So this was an actual photo taken during that period of time and transferred to a postcard. Um, so, and uh, you can tell, um, maybe not on this camera, but you can tell by looking at the photograph, you know, if it was a real photo or a copy. The copies you'll typically be able to see pixels. Um, this is a real photo. It is a photo of a tour of Tijuana, Mexico, and it actually has a, one lady is holding a pennant that says um, White Star Tours. Um, so, from 1915 in Tijuana, Mexico, this picture was taken $18.50 for this postcard. Plus shipping. Next bulk buy, going out to one of you guys. This is uh, Beard Guy Fishing from YouTube. So, thank you so much, Beard Guy, for this uh, the purchase. I really appreciate it. Um, this person bought uh, some of these Hero Clicks. These are these little figurines that we got um, right there. Um, they are, uh, there's a lot of two. Hero Clicks, 2002, 2003, a lot of 21 Marvel figures. X-Men, Fantastic Four, uh, there's a few other uh, random ones thrown in here as well. And then uh, Silver Samurai and Ninja Explosion and this one. Um, all together, $23.92. So thank you so much, Beard Guy Fishing. We appreciate the business. We'll throw some stickers and such in there for you. Another cabinet card. This is also a big seller for us. Um, this one was just because of the content. It is a cabinet card woman in dress uh, with the Keystone Excelsior standard logo. So that's what's on her dress right there. Um, it's kind of a funky looking photo, but um, it says Myrtle Gregory on the back. So I guess that's Myrtle right there. Uh, $20. Plus ship. Next up. This is all we do anymore. This is a Squishmallow. And this is a good one. This is Max the Raccoon. 16 inch Squishmallow. Um, take a good look at Max because Max is worth some money. Max got a pretty big tail too. Um, Max is $32 plus shipping. This is going to the United Kingdom. And just to give you guys an idea how much people want these. Whoever bought this spent $75 to ship it to the United Kingdom. So they're going to be popular. Um... $32 plus shipping for Max. That random box of stuff that we bought at the uh, auction that had the uh, model engine that sold for $50 um, is the box that just keeps giving. We we sold the Nintendo Zapper that was there. It's supposed to be held like this. Um, orange Nintendo Zapper. It was the newer one, uh, the, the fifth edition, I believe. Comes with this little manual. 18 bucks free shipping on the Zapper. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Today is Friday. October 29th, and um, we did pretty good today. Two marketplaces, Macari and eBay. Um, and yeah, let's get started. Macari is the merriest of all marketplaces, apparently, because we sell Christmas stuff like crazy on Marketplace, or ma Marketplace on Macari. Um, this is an older, um, I guess you could call it vintage. I'm saying like 90s for these. Uh, new old stock, um, they're just white lights with like those um, little like caps around them. Uh, I remember stepping on these when a kid and when I was a kid and they are like a Lego. Um, two of them right here um, sold for 19 bucks plus shipping. Some of the new old lights um, do really well. Um, those were like I said 90s so I guess 90s are vintage now. I'm, I don't know. I remember the 90s so I hate the fact that it would be vintage. Um, also more Christmas. Uh, this is moving on to eBay now, though. Uh, two of these. These are Imperial Vintage Christmas uh, Iron ch Candelabras, or Chandlers. 
So they're just, they don't, um, they're not real candles. They're the ones that you put the light bulb at the top. Um, 30 bucks for the pair, so two of these plus shipping. I'm not going to pull this one out of the, well, here you go. Here's the other one right here. <laughs> so two of them for 30 bucks plus shipping. Christmas is upon us, so people are going to start buying more and more of that stuff as time goes on. Um, sold a, uh, scarf, 29 by 80 scarf, big cozy and warm it says. I'm not a scarf guy, never been. Um, I don't know, maybe the beard doesn't, you know, the beard and the scarf don't work very well together. Um, 11 plus shipping for the scarf. We've been waiting on this to sell. Um, this Zeraman brand always did really well for us, and this was one of the few that sat around, and we thought it would sell pretty quick. This is a Zeraman sweatshirt, black skull, um, embroidered, new with the tag, so they're still tags on it right here. Um, $25 plus shipping. It, uh, yeah, it certainly was a cool sweatshirt. It just sat for some reason. Went hunting for postcards today and I uh, came across a few. Uh, this is not one of them, but uh, we thought this one would sell a little faster because of its content is a little strange. Um, and for those of you that are vegans, you're going to want to look away now. Um, well, it's not anything terrible. It's just, it's a meat market, a rare photo of a butcher shop somewhere uh, in Pennsylvania. Um, anyways, yeah, it's what an odd postcard. It's like, hey, thinking of you, went and visited a butcher shop and mailed this to you. However, this is valuable. $18.50 plus shipping for the postcard. Um, another thing we've been waiting to sell forever is this. Um, this is one of those pins from the hat from the Epic Estate Sale. This is Pinky from Pac-Man. Um, this has just sat around and we thought somebody would pay for it um, at some point. And fi someone finally did $6.50 free shipping. Um, this is a lot, next up is a lot of six. We are allowed to sell currency again. Um, and it's taken a while, uh, but we decided to give this a shot. These are Vietnam Dongs. And yes, that really is the name of their currency, Dong. Um, I'm not just making that up to be funny. This, it says right on there. I mean, I'm not, you know. Not not making it up. It's a lot of uh, six Vietnam uh, bills. It's eight bucks plus shipping. Keeping with the vintage postcard theme, we didn't know if this would have a lot of value. Most of the time, if they're real, they are. This is a vintage postcard, handmade button face postcard. See the button? Super duper creepy. Uh, there's nothing on the back, but it's just this, um, yeah, someone made a button face. Um, anyways, $22.50 right there. Somebody's art, $22.50. Plus shipping. When it comes to values on records, um, this one tends to fetch a pretty good dollar. This is ba Black Sabbath's Greatest Hits, and this would have been worth a little bit more money had, uh, this not been split. Um, $22 plus shipping for Black Sabbath. I told you when you, we bought these, they were going to be worth some decent money, and they are. We paid $8 for them. Um, we separated out the Native Americans. This is a set of 28 vintage plastic cowboys. Um, we're not sure if they're play marks because they don't have markings on them. The Native Americans are, uh, but these are not. These don't say anything on them, so we didn't know for certain. Um, $15 plus shipping for these. Sold some costume jewelry. This is a crystal rhinestone um, flapper style elegant necklace. $12. Next up, sold that NES controller, came with the zapper. Um, just a single NES controller. Uh, it's in really good shape, not really beat up at all. Didn't get chucked on the floor a few times like mine did um, while playing certain games. <laughs> so, um, a lot of people think this stuff's, this stuff's really, really valuable, and it, it is valuable, but it's not super valuable. Single controller, $14 free shipping. And last for today, <laughs> I was calling them Diaper Baby on the... Uh, the haul video that I showed you. Um, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name because I'm going to say Majin Boo is his name. Um, it's a Dragon Ball Z figure <laughs> with a full diaper. Um, Majin Boo from 2002. Um, $14 plus shipping. All right, guys, and that wraps up our week of sales. Um, coming up on the channel this coming to well, tomorrow be tomorrow. Um, we will be live on Saturday. Instead of Sunday, Sunday is 
Halloween, of course, and uh, people are going to be doing things and we are going to be doing things. So um, we will be live this coming Saturday and then this coming Thursday, there will be no guest. Well, there might be. There might be a bunch of them. Um, figured we'd uh, clear a path for Thursday because Thursday is two days before I turn 41. So two days before my birthday, it is going to be the special Pittsburgh Picker Live birthday celebration in honor of me. <laughs> so um, we're going to you know, send out some invites to a few people if they want to come on and so forth, and we'll just have all a great old time. Um, there will probably be no cake, though, just so you know. So that's what's coming up on the channel, then your usual thrifting videos at the beginning of the week and uh, what sold videos Wednesday and Friday. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Good day, sir!